What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jappy. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bra? What up? We are carrying on with season two of Daredevil. This time we are on episode six. It's called Regrets Only. Sounds like my life. Oh, no. <laughs> if you want to watch the entire episode along with us without any cuts or interruptions, you can do that by joining our Patreon, patreon.com slash jappykuei, or by becoming a member right here on the channel. You will need your own Disney Plus subscription, though, in order to watch the episode alongside our reaction, but we give you a three, two, one countdown sync so it makes it really easy to do that with us and it's super fun so i highly recommend it please don't forget to subscribe click that bell icon with all notifications on and upvote this video if you enjoyed what you're watching let's get into this Just say yeah, yeah, yes. I think so. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Not like that. <laughs> like a scooter. <laughs> oh, in London? No, in Thailand. Oh, yeah, that like, makes sense. Like the type of scooters that you get in uh, in Asia. The kind you you ride to the market. Very uncool. At a cool like 15, 20 miles per hour. Yep. Those are some cute looking bikes. Yeah. Ducati. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh, you want trouble? Masks on. Oh! Oh, yeah, this is where yeah. we left off. Oh, you're in trouble. Uh -oh. Ah! oh, is it a girl on girl fight yet? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Daredevil's like, oh, Electra. <laughs> this is why we're good together, babe. Yeah. Let's get back together. We get in trouble. <laughs> oh, he's just so chilling. Wow. Whoa! Wow! What? Oh, here he comes. Oh! Some nunchucks. Yes? Whoa! Oh. Wow, that was a nice fall. Oh. Ah. Wow. These guys are so good. They're gonna kiss, aren't they? No? Hungry. Oh my. <laughs> Electra, you are wild, girl. <laughs> you are wild. She's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, that was a cool fight sequence, too. Yeah, I thought that whoever was doing stunts for the people attacking, they were really good. Yeah. Like, they made them look good. <sighs> Yummy. Mm. Oh, come on, that's enough. You've eaten enough. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell a girl when to stop eating. <gasps> My God. You might have mentioned the Japanese mafia before Butterfly Knife started flying. I told you I needed help. You huh? said you needed a lawyer. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no shit. You've been lying since you got here. What's happening with the Yakuza? And I want to know how you know. <laughs> she is so annoying. My money's planted deeply inside investments with the Roxon Corporation. And Roxon has ties to crime. I stirred the pot a little on the business side, and when I did, who came knocking on my door with the Yakuza? Their mistake, because now they're after us. There is no us. This is your problem. Matthew. Ooh. You're gonna book yourself on the first available flight out of New York and get on it. Go back to whatever spa, resort, or five-star hotel you just came from and stay out of my city. I know she's turned on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so that's so messed up. And I will take care of him. Let me tell you, the Yakuza do have a bigger plan, and I'm not going anywhere. If you don't want to be partners, I'll handle it on my own. More coffee? No. no. <laughs> Just leave them alone. <laughs> we do it together. We take them down fast and hard. The second it's done, I'm out of your city. If we do this, then I need to know you're at least going to pretend to feel the same way. Nobody dies. Hmm. I have a rule of my own. Sure. No sex. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is Christopher Roth. He's the public defender assigned to the Castle case. I just dropped by to get Miss Page's signature on the statement. Once we've got that, we're all done. Well, with this meeting? With this case. Castle's awake. Soon he'll plead guilty, then it's open and shut. New York will sleep better knowing Frank Castle's behind bars. I know I will. Sleep even better when he's dead. What? D.A. Reyes just has to link the killings to Castle and then they'll be well within their rights oh. to extradite him. And, you know. I'm sorry, Mr. Roth. I can't sign this yet. Um, we'll be in touch, Mr. Roth. I'm sure we will. Wow. He's... Punisher's 
defense attorney and that's what he's trying to do? Yeah. He just, he just doesn't believe in... What a scoundrel. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the area is restricted beyond this point. You can't be here. What if we have business with Frank Castle? Business? The guy's barely conscious. Our firm wants to represent him. Man's already got a lawyer. He sucks. Public defender is all but ready to roll over and help. So we thought he'd respond to our strategy of, you know, keeping him alive. Look, none of this is my problem. But all I know is you go up against this DA and lose, the only funeral to attend would be your firm's. If we walk away, we're letting him die. Yeah. Morality suicide. Look at Karen. Yeah, yeah that's my bae. Let's go. You let us take your case. We can soften your sentence and give you a shot. Maybe even find out who's responsible for what happened to you. Kind of like what you did for Grotto, huh? Karen, 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 Foggy. Do you want answers? So do we. But none of us will get them if you're dead. Wow. Feisty. Where did you get that? From your home. You're my own. Uh oh. You go in my house. Someone is lying about what happened to your family, Mr. Castle. Oh. You three out! It's tense. Say they're your lawyers! You can't represent Castle when one of his victims was your former client. Alleged victims. All the same. Representing Grotto might have complicated no, matters, but then again, all evidence of our work with him and our deal with you seems to have disappeared from public record. Almost as if someone didn't want it known that you violated a Witpro contract, jeopardized the safety of said witness, and then ordered a shoot to kill on Castle. Touche. We'd like to resume convincing Mr. Castle that, unlike his current legal counsel, we can actually help him. You already did. What? Castle doesn't want the public defender. Says Nelson and Murdoch are his lawyers now. Yes! Let's go! Let's have the charges and evidence summary brought here. We can weed through it and work out what terms we want directly with Frank. It'll save time. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, this is happening, all right. Uh-oh, who is that? Car service for you, Mr. Murdoch. Car service? It's uh, not a very good time. My employer was quite insistent. His employer? Yeah, the new, the new client. Um, could you just give us a minute? Dang. New client I mentioned. Um, I forgot I scheduled a meeting last. Seriously? After you insisted we come here? Oh, you saw the bank deposit. W what kind of client sends a driver They're anyways? Kind of pace. A lot. I know the timing is awful. I'm, uh, it's okay. Just go. Dang. We're going to a gala to steal a top secret Roxon ledger. That details certain illegal goings on in Hell's Kitchen. I need to know every step of this plan. Matthew, where's the fun in that? There isn't any. It's not about fun. We have a deal. I told you, one and done. After tonight. Farewell. I know. Let's make it count then. Mm. I empathize with her and I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's my understanding that you wish to plead guilty to all of them in order to do my job. I'm guilty. Oh, great. Uh, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. I need to talk to her alone. Absolutely not. Just do it. My colleague is... I'll, I'll do it. If you're feeling up My to family. it, I really think that... What do you know? Oh, uh, we can get to that. What do you know about my family? Have you ever seen this? A police report, complaint number 211974. Victims were stopped at a traffic light northbound on Bealton Ave when an unidentified male suspect began firing a 9mm handgun at their vehicle. Juvenile male, juvenile female, an adult woman found dead at the scene. Adult male driver was critically wounded and taken to Metro General. It's horseshit. It's the story Reyes is running with. Five out of fates took our blanket down to her spot. She was by the carousel on the lawn. I heard a shout. It was a grown man. Who did you see? Didn't. But I found out later. The cartel. Irish. Bikers. Anyone else? Should have seen it coming. My job was to keep him safe. I didn't. I didn't do it. The questions can wait a minute. I'll just... Why don't I come back when you... What? Yeah, why are you abandoning yeah. him? Please. Yeah, Karen. He's like reliving these painful memories. You're just gonna leave him alone? <laughs> oh. <laughs> She came to be noticed. Yeah. Also, I love all the red accents on like all of her wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Miss Nachios, delighted to have you here with us this evening. <laughs> you know, I never pass up the chance to have my ass kissed. Miss Roshi. Wow. 
Then, unless this fine gentleman has beaten me to the punch, allow me to be the first kisser this evening. First kisser, huh? That's him at the ball. He looks like an accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I Icon Gibson at the bar. I guess rocks on up their security. They're watching him pretty close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Leave it to me. I'm gonna spill it on him. He's wearing a white suit. You can't get mad at a blind man. No. <laughs> that's good. Oh. oh my god, I'm so sorry. Shit! Once again, I'm, I'm so sorry. Think nothing of it. Enjoy the party. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, smart. Well played. You were never in any danger. I only hurt people that deserve it. I wanted you to know that. Guess I'm just supposed to take your word on that. Look, you got any idea what a scout sniper is? You ever no. heard of that? No. Okay, well, you're looking at one. One shot, one kill. The point is, if I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Why, why am I here? You guys are worried that the memories are just going to go away. I went up into the kids' bedrooms. There were drawings on the walls and uh, sports trophies on the dressers. There's a lot of that. Look, Frank, it's really not, not for me to say, but they clearly loved you. Okay. You can't even look at it. So sad. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> what? You help, help me remember. You're welcome. Oh God! All the stuff with him is heartbreaking. He's such a good actor. It's insane. Bastard. What the hell? Did the power go out or did you hit the switch? <laughs> Super handy having a blind man on your team. I think no one suspects. No one. Like similar to like her being a woman. Exactly. Like, and then children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This will erase the recordings and loop the security cameras. Always lucky that no one's looking at that exact yeah. screen at the exact moment. The death penalty is officially off the table. That's the good news. And the bad? She wouldn't budge on protective custody. He's gonna have to be in general pop. Uh, no, it's bullshit. I think this is the best possible deal we're gonna make right now. All you have to do is say three simple words. Guilty, Your Honor. Can do. Case oh. How does the defendant plead? Is this a wild card moment? Oh. I plead not guilty. There we go. You hear that, witch? I'm gonna watch you burn right along. Counselor, you please control your... Do you hear me? I, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Oh, she's done something. The nature yeah. and severity of the crimes he's accused yeah. of bail is denied. She looks mad, so maybe that's good. We'll find out. Three hours ago, he was pleading guilty. Why did he change his maybe mind? Maybe he just wants the truth. I mean, if we go to trial, then it all comes out, right? There's no if. This is happening. Oh. They're gonna have to make make out and fake out. I think so. I love this episode <laughs> so far. Eyes on Gibson. He's in the men's room, sir. They needed to fill up the party more. Yeah. Seemed a little sparse. They put all the budget on this venue. Yeah. It's a sick venue. Oh, wow. Hi. That's crazy. <laughs> Wow, the skill sets he has is so cool. Yeah. Wow. What's that thing? That thing. It's not there. It's supposed to be there. That's the thing. Oh, it is? I don't know. Oh. But I'm like, why did they focus yeah, on it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's the thing you need to take. Matthew. What? Something. Behind this wall. There's an electrical current running through it. Here. Twist it. Ah. Wow. Here, this one. Books, paper. Uh oh. Hiro. Oh, he's like, this is my worst day. They're coming for ya. I gotta go. 
they just leave all the evidence out? Like, I guess there's not enough time. Take the stairs, girly. Yeah. In case of emergency, always use the stairs. Yeah. Oh, they're oh on okay. The they're on the stairs. You can fight them. We need a, another stairway fight scene. Sexy. I would take off the shoes and use them as a weapon. Wow. Oh, this is cool. Really cool. That's also a dope way to just like use all the stunt doubles and like have really awesome looking fights. Yeah, but he needs to be careful because like he's not Murdoch right Yeah, now. exactly. Both of them, they're both exposed. <laughs> we are so sorry. <laughs> Very sorry, sir. Shut up. Oh, not faking. You need to leave. Yes, certainly. Once again, we're so sorry. We not now! <laughs> He's like so disgusted. I don't know. This one I can't read. It's in some kind of code. This makes sense. Invoices for drugs and guns and human trafficking are encrypted than what is. What was that called? Black Sky? Yeah. Matt, you had fun. Ooh. Oh. Oh shit, goodbye. Our most valuable secrets have been stolen. We were attacked. Oh. Oh, damn. Listen, listen, I would never betray you. I have nothing but respect for the Yakuza. Who said I was Yakuza? Huh? Are they not? Or maybe he wasn't supposed to know. Oh They're yeah, yeah, yeah. Yakuza. Yeah. I feel bad for those guys. Like, they were ready to give up a finger. finger. You weren't answering your phone. My Japanese people don't play. It's crazy. <laughs> Frank pled not guilty, Matt. What? And it gets worse. And Ray has pulled every string she has. So we, uh, you don't understand, Matt. Frank agreed. I hope your schedule is clear, buddy. Yeah. Because the People versus Frank Castle starts next week. Dude, you gotta do some real lawyering now. Yeah, you guys gotta talk to him. Figure out what happened. Yeah. Find the Reyes cover up. Woo! You're right. This was a really fun episode. Very good. It had a little bit of everything, I think, because you know we had we had the fun, we had the intrigue, we had the fighting, we had the lawyering, everything. Everything. It was yeah. like a spy espionage meets lawyer, <laughs> judge, everything. Like somewhat Frank just being like going rogue on his own. Yeah. An investigation now. I really like this episode. Yeah, and I love all the the scenes with Frank Castle and like kind of exploring all of the backstory. And you're right, John Bernthal is amazing and I think he's particularly incredible in this role. It's so hard watching him having to live through those difficult moments as well cuz you know like you say he's got PTSD. It's it's really difficult to have to like remember that stuff and when you're remembering things you're putting yourself back into the moment when it happened and it's all stuff that's unresolved for him i felt so bad that he hadn't even been home and he couldn't even look at the picture of his family that she gave him because it was a picture of like the very last day together it's so sad like every time Arthur and i almost cry when he's talking about his family yeah because I just can't imagine anything more heartbreaking, especially someone who's not only like the father figure in the family, but highly skilled, yeah. like awarded military personnel who's protected and served the country, but like couldn't protect yeah. his family, which is not his fault. But I can imagine the heartbreak that he feels. And I'm just so intrigued to find, like there's so many layers to him. Like there's yeah. so many layers to finding out what he was doing, which is going after the bad guys. And then now it's like, what the heck is this investigation? What happened to his family? Why is Reyes involved? She seems truly evil. Yeah, it's deep. It's really deep. And, and we know that he's very, very very specially highly trained. I love how they kind of drop this information just in little bits. So it's just gradually revealed to us, the audience, because I think the key point is he asked about 
if Karen had heard about this specific type of shooter that he was. And it's like, yeah, if I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. And he talked about training in Quantico, which is, if I remember correctly, isn't that where they train FBI? So yeah. it's it's clearly something more than just army. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. on a whole oh, other level. Good call, so true. And it is like, you guys, he hasn't killed one innocent. Like none of the yeah. charges has to do with an innocent. Obviously you can't kill people, Yeah. but like he is killing people who have murdered and tortured people. It's messed up. Like you can't just enact the law on your own, but yeah. it's, there's a huge difference than killing an innocent to gain your goal. You know, yeah. like he wasn't sacrificing innocence to do this. He was just going after what he wanted. Yeah, like very, very targeted. And all that stuff with Electra as well <sighs> is super fun. I'm definitely, appreciating her more in this watch than the first time round and i think that has a lot to do with having you next to me because like you clearly appreciate her i really a lot. do <laughs> i really do like okay because obviously she has daddy or mommy issues something happened yeah you don't just end up like electra you don't just like sacrifice people and just have no care she's obviously spoiled too which yeah. matt murdoch po points out rightfully so she's very spoiled very entitled but she's interesting you know yeah. she's not evil i haven't seen her murder like someone yet i don't think i think she's gray i think she's someone who gray, doesn't yeah. have the same uh, scruples as matt murdoch she would happily kill someone whereas he wouldn't even yes. if they're evil you know she would be on the suicide squad yeah <laughs> they'd be like okay you were arrested she's like a harley quinn yeah you know yeah. like i'm like that's why i like her i like harley quinn and i know that she's crazy and i know that electra is crazy <laughs> but i she's a fun character yeah and i like what she brings out of matt because it's a different side of him it I, is a different side yeah i don't think it's good for him for the long run but yeah. for now it's cool to see his character be like no this is where i and i feel like he is setting pretty clear lines of where he's willing to go and not go and they do need the money yeah, they do. Yeah, and Electra will push the boundary as much as she can because that's who she is, yeah. you know? She's like, oh, no, ha ha. A, a no means a maybe. <laughs> a no is a yes that just hasn't happened yet. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to keep pushing. But yeah, you're right. She is a lot of fun. I think you might be onto something with the whole Black Sky situation because it seems like it isn't just this sort of gangster stuff. There's like a whole other layer. And I, if we end up watching Defenders, I think that'll become a lot clearer oh, because cool. there's like a whole a whole other different, if I remember correctly, it's more of like a supernatural oh, okay. connection. But it, they're just kind of teasing it a little bit right now in, in the past season. And I'm thinking in this season as well. I appreciate that the show is still doing a really good job of balancing the superhero stuff along with the lawyer stuff because yeah. the lawyer stuff is still incredibly intriguing. It doesn't feel like it's taking a backseat. Yeah, I, I love watching Foggy and Matt talk about like legal terms yeah. and like kind of just a their not their dominance but kind of their confidence in yeah. the system and that they want to protect and bring justice and that doesn't mean letting bad guys go but it means proper justice yeah and i loved that scene when when they were up against reyes and it, like that whole kind of power exchange in the whole scene where at first it seems like she's got the upper hand and she's all like, I'm gonna take you down or whatever. And then uh, Matt comes in with all of the reasons yeah. why they could make her life difficult. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the look that Karen gave him was appropriate. Cause it was like, you're so hot right yeah, now I'd be with like the knowledge. <laughs> Okay, legal talk. It does it for me too, Karen. I get it. I yeah. get it. Yeah. yeah. Like a, a, a smart, competent man uh, who's good at what he does is super sexy. Yes. Not just because he has a nice butt. Yes. So, and abs. <laughs> And a lot, literally people, everything. Everything. A lot of things going a on. A lot of. He's got it all. Yeah. We get it, Matt. Enough. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> Too perfect. So you guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Click that bell icon with all notifications turned on, and upvote this video if you enjoyed what you watched. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm Achara Cook. This is Steph Sabra. Ciao.